All right, Panthers, this message is coming to you on behalf of your English teachers, as we want you to understand the expectations for Lexia being done through your Connections class. Lexia will be graded as part of your English class grade. You can look at the scale right here to determine where you might be and where you need to get in order to earn an A. Your Lexia grade is gonna be comprised of 10 units per month. However, since we're just getting started and finally found our rhythm and connections, we're gonna give you September and October to get all 20 of these units that you need. So if you're a little bit behind right now, don't worry about it. In order to get an A, you need to get between 19 and 20 or more than 20 units. Anything that falls between a 16 or an 18 is gonna get you a B. If you complete 14 to 15, it's gonna get you a C. 11 to 13 is gonna get you a D. And if you can't get anything above 10, it's going to get you an F, and I know that we can all do better than that. So right now, what we've been doing in our Lexia is about a couple of units per connections class. Some of you guys have already achieved and surpassed your goal for this month as well as next month. But there's a few of us who need to pick up our game and work a little bit harder in connections doing our Lexia. So let's be productive today. And I want to take a second to walk you through how to get all of the information that you need from your Lexia dashboard to be sure that you're able to be successful on this task. So when you log in, you know that you've got your three main tiles. You've got your word study, your grammar, and your comprehension. Within these, it tells you how many minutes you should work within each of the tabs. We would like for you to spend the, ma the vast majority of your time working in the comprehension tab, and if you get frustrated or hit a roadblock, hop over to the word study one. Save grammar for last. Comprehension is gonna be where we really wanna focus our efforts to achieve the most growth as readers at Langston Hughes Middle School. Some other great information that this dashboard is going to tell you is how many units right here on the bottom that you've achieved for this week only. Every week you'll notice that this dashboard resets. Your minutes will go back to the original amount and then your units will reset back to zero. But you could check your progress right here on this little trophy tab called Your Progress. When you click that, it's going to tell you last week's data, this current week's data, and then your all-time data. Now, those of you guys who are in eighth grade who have been using Lexia for more than just uh, this year will notice that you might have a lot of units right here, all right? It'll also break it down on this side by what you've done today, which if we look at this, this person has spent 18 minutes on Lexia, but they've achieved no units. So my guess is that they logged in, but then they didn't do very much. If you click over using this little arrow right here, it will tell you this week, how many minutes and units you've achieved, as well as last week. All right, this person, again, didn't log in for very long and didn't get very many units done. So they've got a little bit of work ahead of them to get to that 20 units. But guess what, guys? You can achieve those 20 units in one hard day's work or a couple of hard day's work, and we know that you could do that. It'll also give you your all-time statistics. So this is however long you've been using this program. So if you used it some last year, it's going to include those as well. All right. Um, so you could keep track of how many units you've completed by checking in on your dashboard pretty frequently. Like I said, your English teachers are going to grade you on 10 units per month, but for this first time, we're going to lump that together so that September and October are going to go in as one grade. That grade will get entered in at the end of October. Now, if you want to keep yourself engaged or have a bit of a challenge, you could always keep track of your streaks up here. See how many you could get. Challenge a friend. See who has more. You could also scroll down and see where you are in the pathway. Right now, I'm on part five of word study with the, all of these units to go ahead of me. I'm a little bit farther ahead in grammar with only one section to go. And I'm about a half of a little bit more than halfway through the comprehension. So you'll see that as you complete units over time, you'll watch this bar sort of slide over for each of your categories. Now, if you have any specific questions, you should ask your English teacher because your connection teacher may not be an English person and they might not have as much familiarity with Lexia. But the best thing that you could do to help yourself is making sure that you're using your time during connections to get these minutes done. And we know that you could do it. Let's get moving, Panthers.